on this tree, we have an example of one that's still alive. Especially when you look at the underside, you can see that nice creamy texture and color. Up above, well that one's obviously too far gone. This one is just about perfect. If we look at the underside, it's no longer alive, but it's not so rotted out that it's just going to fall apart when I touch it. Nice and firm, but dead, so it's going to be dry. It pays to take a look at the top too. This one does have a number of holes that allow water to get down inside there. So this one over here might be a better bet. At the right stage it should break off fairly easily. And here you can see that pore structure. Here is a close-up of the tubes. This is a side view and it's been broken off on the bottom. And there they are traveling up through the structure of the fungus. And that essentially is the route that our coal will take. After we light it, it will travel up along those tubes and work its magic. Here we're just feathering up the tops of those pores and preparing them to receive our spark. Set your fire seal directly on it. And you've got it taken here. You may not even see smoke at first. You can actually tell that you have it by the smell. So you'll smell the very distinctive burning of this coal. And I'm going to wait for a couple of minutes and show you what's happened. Here's a close-up. This is about a minute later. You can see that the coal is working its way down through the pores. I'll try to get closer. There we go. We can see it working its way down. Again, not a lot of smoke. There's a little bit, but you really can smell it. It's very easy to set another one burning. Just set it to it. And you have a coal starting on your second one. This coal is just going to keep growing and growing. I'm blowing on it here, but you don't need to. You can just let it sit. By now, this is a big enough coal that it's throwing out some nice heat. It's going to continue growing. I can warm up my hands by it. And ideal for starting a fire, especially if you're in conditions where you're dealing with wet tinder or wet wood. Again, that blowing isn't necessary, but I'm doing it just to show you what's going on inside of there. This is about four or five minutes after that first spark. I'm going to go for a short woods run and come back in about 10 minutes and we'll see how that coal's doing. Okay, back. It's been about 10 minutes. This is all burned ash. You can see we still have a really nice coal going. And I'll show you how easy it is to start a fire with one of these. Just 
just have some winter dry leaves here. And we have flames. And there it is, ready to use again. We could just let it sit for another 10, 15 minutes and it would still be ready to do the same thing.